the MIG-23 NT- preliminary NTSB report is out, and it's a doozy. So let us begin. This happened in Michigan, August 13th, Part 91 at an air race slash show. On August 13th, about 15, 15 Eastern Daylight Time, a MiG-23 UB, N-23 UB, was destroyed when it was involved in an accident near Belleville, Michigan. The pilot and pilot-rated observer received minor injuries. The airplane was operated, Part 91, for an air show. The flight was performing the Thunder over Michigan air show held at Willow Run Airport. Yep. The accident flight was scheduled to be the second to last act. The accident aircraft was privately fl- owned Russian designed military fighter airplane that employed variable geometry wings that allowed the wing sweep angle to be changed in flight. It's powered by a single turbojet engine with afterburner capability, as God intended. The pilot reported that the flight departed from the runway 23 at Yip, followed by a right turn to a banana pass, a low level knife edge pass, along runway 23. Following the pass, he started banking the airplane and noticed that the engine afterburner did not ignite and the airspeed began to decrease. He brought the swing wings into the fully forward position, 16 degree sweep, to increase lift and began troubleshooting the problem. He was actively troubleshooting when the rear seat observer stated that they needed to eject. The pilot reported that he was not ready to eject and was still troubleshooting the problem, maneuvering the airplane toward runway 27 at Yip when his ejection seat fired and he was yeeted from the aircraft. He stated that if either occupant pulls the ejection handle, both seats eject. The rear seat observer stated that the airplane made a pass along the runway and the plan was to go to the left for another pass followed by a landing. He stated that the engine was not accelerating. He and the pilot had a brief discussion, began to climb up and gain altitude. They determined that they had some type of engine problem and needed to get back to the ground. He stated that they determined that they did not have sufficient altitude to make it to a runway at the airport. And he said they were compressed for time and needed to get out when he asked if he had to pull the ejection seat handles. He said he could not specifically remember, but he thinks that he would have if he had. Uh, Video evidence indicated that the airplane was in left bank when the ejection seats fired. The airplane continued in left bank, descended in the ground about one mile south of the approach end of runway 27. Wreckage path was 600 feet long and a heading of 35. And a uh, fuselage section contained the tail surface. The engine came to rest adjacent to the apartment building. Remainder of the airplane was fragmented, distributed along a wreckage path. No reported injuries, thankfully. Uh, just the two guys that uh, jettisoned the aircraft. And hello. What is a rated observer? Is that like a real thing? One notch below Wizzo. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, tee it up. But too it, soon? I, <laughs> One notch above, was no, it? I mean, I think above. What, what, a is that a real? I mean, is that a real? Is that a real uh, type or a real rating? Yeah, is that a real? I think it was just a statement. Like he's a rated, i.e., he's a pilot of some sort. Could be a one seventy. Was, it, was, he, was he rated observer. in the aircraft? I, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Like, what's a rated yeah, observer? Because I mean, there is a because it's. I mean, the weight and because it's the experimental and it's a there is a type rating. There's a type ride. Right, you have to get the right. well, experimental authorization. You have to get the you have to go get a check ride, and it's an FAA well, check they would, ride to fly this well, thing. Yeah, but then if the backseater had the type, they would have just said another MiG twenty three pilot or rated. Well, he's pilot. rated. They call him. Well, let's go back. Let's go look at because they say he's a so rated he's, observer, not rated. Not rated pilot. pilot. Well, he was observing. He wasn't into it. Words mean well, things. no, because he's observing because he's in the back seat. Words matter. He's, he's not observing because of he's observing because this jet only takes it. one. One pilot to fly, as the I, Lord intended. Dude, I understand that, but like I'd never like when there was another pilot but, in the backseat of the Hornet, I wouldn't call but, him a rated observer. It calls like him a passenger in here. Another it says pilot. one passenger, one crew. I'm just asking. I'm, anyway, I, I don't know. So but my whole my whole thought process is like, well, how'd you know how to eject? <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm sure he's briefed on well, that. He's rated, right? I mean, he's even rated. He's, he's even a if, rated guy. Even it's it's an incentive ride. You used to do those, right, Gonky? Uh, at the yeah. rag, like I've done a ton of. You would, you. I mean, maybe you weren't the one briefing, but you know the PRs. I guarantee you briefed him on how to eject, and then you probably briefed him on how to not touch a dang thing in that plane unless you tell him to. Am I wrong? This yes. This is I not. Mean, a, no, you're this not is wrong, not man. a fam rider. You're not okay. wrong. I'm saying yeah. yes. Yeah. This is not a fam rider. This dude was a because I remember so you're saying he was rated this, in the airplane as and he was just acting. That's what we're going to go in the assumption. He was an observer, and... like a safety pilot. 
Okay. Because we I think there was discussion previously about this aircraft where they wanted him to fly solo, and he couldn't because you needed two people in it for having hot seats. Because otherwise, you'd be oh. throwing the seat out. So I think he always had to fly with two people. It? Really? Hmm? That's yeah. horrible. I don't think you, there was a, it had a solo mode. I mean, granted, it's just, not exactly... It's Russian. A new plane, but that's a oh, horrible old, but, design. Old Russian. Yeah, that is terrible. So, <laughs> that's a stupid what, design. What's the anyway? We digress. I think you're you're at fisticuffs when you land. Oh, I think <laughs> somebody so is. Why am I here? Face. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, can you imagine your no. heads down, probably in the checklist, and the next thing you know, your VA rating is two hundred percent. You know, I mean, but you're a civilian, so you don't get anything, but. We'll get to VA ratings here in a second, but <laughs> you like the yeah. pilot command, dude, the so aircraft dude, commander makes that call. So like one well, that's saying when I used to give rides, right? So if, if you had wings on your chest, I, I would set the little handle to aft initiate. I'm like, dude, you got wings on your chest. I'm going to assume that you can properly judge this. But when it was like midshipmen's, uh, somebody who didn't have wings on their chest, I would set that thing to like aft solo. I think is what it called. I can't remember, but whatever the one solo, is, where they... aft solo front both or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. So like they, yeah, yeah. if they pulled it, so it's just them. Anyway. Yeah, midship it's just people. Them. Midship people, Gonky. Midshipmen. Persons. I lived twenty years back. Midship dude. persons. <laughs> yeah, midshipmen. He and I'm... his internet are from twenty years but, ago. <laughs> no, his internet is <laughs> is wide saying. open. That joke hey, is. We've done. been on for ten and a half minutes, bro. You've got to get it longer than that. No, he had he Look, showed me the megabytes. <laughs> uh, but so the it's happened before, right? You've had the admirals Tomcat. that have punched themselves yeah. out of Tomcats. It became a Jag episode one time. Yeah. Uh, you've had the civilian French guy that yeeted himself out of the back of that aircraft. You've had the T T6 Texan. That's a big one. The canopy fracture system where he, he pulled the, the, the canopy yeah. and it clamshelled, you know, jettisoned that. This is more of a two pilots seeing the same situation. And one goes, I've got this cause I'm flying it. And one goes, no, you don't. I'm out. And then he forgets that he does it. You know, he's like, well, I would have, if I had, and he didn't remember that he actually had meanwhile, the front seat guy, this is a lack of crew coordination. This yeah. is, uh, Hey, we're going to make the decision to get, I don't know what their crew brief was, but we, we did not make a decision together. <laughs> that was the crew brief, dude. High five, bro. Awesome. We're at an air show. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. single engine, considerations right i, I mean yeah. climb conserve turn back to the field well, they did. Try so, to get they, a, he said they he said they started climbing right to troubleshoot in the article right and i don't it doesn't say they had no power it just said they didn't have afterburner or full military power yeah so you know I the mean, jet's not doing what regards, you're thinking that's no power <laughs> well but, yeah know, so i mean also i mean unless it's hitting the ground death is imminent there's a sequence of words that you say prior to bail out, bail out, bail out, or right, we eject, don't, eject, eject, right? Or we don't say over. that. We always say we talk about ejection. We use bail out for the command. Really? At least that's an Air Force thing. That's yeah. Air Force. Yeah. Maybe it's in, eject, the, in eject, the briefing eject. guide. Yeah. In the briefing don't say guide, the word was, unless you mean it. We we talk. We bail out, bail out, bail out. Are the three face curtains? Uh, but yeah. we talk about the ejection decision. Yeah, but the point is, there's you it's never, it. It, sh yeah. it shouldn't be a yeah. surprise unless total SA breakdown. No, it should never be a yeah. It, yeah, imminent. Like, hey, right. we're out of the window and in, in three, two, one. Okay, we're out. Yeah. yeah, this just looks like a bad crew coordination and the guy in the back seat who thought he had more SA than the guy in the front seat. Well, lucky it's just an airplane that got destroyed. I mean, honestly, yeah, no dude, If I you're could have went into a a, home, a house a apartment, con, I mean. Well, not only that, what if the guy up front was like literally heads down reading a checklist and, you know, the he, seat fires with like a thousand G's or whatever it is. I mean, you break your neck. Yeah. A thousand G's. <laughs> not a thousand G's. I, I'm a real fighter pilot. Slight I know it's not a thousand G's. It's 500 G's, obviously. <laughs> Dude, Everybody he knows is that. a puddle of In nothing. Russia, everything bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Including he is, The The rocket is like SpaceX. It puts him in orbit. <laughs> 
You know, he's just, he shows up at the ISS all of a sudden. Yes. I bring vodka for the ISS. Yes. I bring the vodka. Oh, yes. Why? Always an envelope. (laughs) Oh, yes. Why? It's a, it's a negative zero, zero. Like you can go negative 200 feet. You could have died six weeks ago and still punch out. (laughs) Catch up. We, uh, we have, yeah. But But seriously, if you're not in the right body position, I mean, you're going to get hurt. Oh, yeah. I mean, even oh, if you're probably, right, I mean, probably. dude, remember, um, well, the, what was his name? Advance, uh, splash told us that story oh, yeah, of going dude. off the catapult. Yes. He got a soft cat and what was it? An a four. Yeah. And they yelled it, to him, yelled it to him to eject. So he, this is a guy that was in charge of the Navy guys advance and he pulls the handle. And I remember him vividly being like, Commander didn't Coy. Fire. Commander Coy. didn't fire. So he looks down and as he looks down, he sees the rockets fired. Yep. Yep, and he skipped across the. Uh, and I mean, he ended his career uh, advance. I mean, there is no better pinnacle for that as a Navy guy, right? <laughs> Busmaster, Busmaster did that. Jeez. Anyway, <laughs> poor Busmaster. He's a good guy. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So anyway, crew coordination probably still troubleshooting. N- not ready for the ejection decision. We almost kill some people on the ground. That's the problem I have. Is you know we're not. Well, know, I mean, it really happen. was. That really was like feet away to, from being a, yeah. a another Miramar kind of situation. Sure. Not. Yeah. We're just but you know, if the guy in the back was like, dude, we're going to die if I don't pull this handle. Well, then, I mean, dude, it's. And he's know, that's not what he's. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't remember it, though. Yeah. So that is that from the ejection? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's from a thousand G's. A thousand G's erased your memory. Well, I mean, well, I only know people that ejected a, out of American aircraft, which are far less than a thousand G's, but yeah. they he, still have some he, recollection of it. Yeah, you know, the I mean, poor guy who owns it is a triple seven captain. So you know he's not like a twenty year old vertebrae. You know it's not. Yeah, this yeah. is he's Tom Cruise. He's Tom Cruise ejected out of the Dark Star. He's gonna have to pick up some green slips or whatever they have <laughs> to pay for that. Uh, man. <laughs> His taxes okay. suck this year, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, well, well like, really good, actually, because that a write off. Yeah, it's a write off. Thanks, Re- MF. Mother, um, yeah, MF. Mother. Reading that the MiG twenty three has a minimum eject speed of ninety knots. You say <sighs> possibly a factor which made the back seater go. Thoughts? No, is that I mean, a look at the T thirty eight? I mean, hey, well, yeah, get... I mean, you've got zero eighty seats. I mean, that's a nor- that's a normal yeah, thing, that's but is he they were nowhere like, near ninety knots. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I yeah. I mean, if you're 90 yeah. knots in any fighter, uh, yeah. If if you were 90 knots, you were okay. That's a valid decision. Yeah. Good, to, you know, good engines choice. rolling back. If we're at 90 Hold knots. on, don't say any fighters, bro. Like you can well, do that for it. <laughs> well, Charlie, uh, with no regime. engines. Well, they had engines. It, if engine. the engines rolling back engine. and you are at 90 knots, dude, I'm out. Give it back to the taxpayers. See you later. Well, that is Have the seat starting to fall out from under you. That feeling, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, no, I know that feeling. <laughs> like, Russ, I know I'm you do. well aware of that feeling. So am I. <laughs> Which is yeah. why, Mover, you lost me at single engine the way it should Possibly be. a factor. Yeah, you know, I'm, honestly, yeah. Who, I mean, I mean, if he doesn't even remember, if he doesn't remember, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe he just got yeah, scared. Yeah. Next. <laughs> 